Wow. Wow is really all I can say right now, man. Wow. So, the much anticipated video of EDP 445 being confronted by uh, CC Unit and Predator Approaches finally was released last night. And it is absolutely disturbing. It's, it's even more disturbing than I, I thought it was going to be. I watched the video last night when it was released. Um, I watched it when it was live. It was being shown live. Wow. Just un truly unbelievable, man. Just it, even more disgusting, even more shocking than I thought it was going to be. Now, was it shocking to me that EDP was capable of doing this? No, it was not. It was not, you know, I'm, I'm not surprised at all when it comes to EDP, you know, anything he does. But just some of the stuff for that video were, were very, very um, disturbing and very, very shocking. And I don't care if you're the biggest EDP fanboy, fangirl, whatever. There, there's, no, there's no defending him. There is absolutely no defending him. You could be the biggest fan of EDP, like I said, but there, there's, there, there's no defending it. EDP, like it or not, is a pedophile. That's just the facts. For those of you who have not seen the video yet, which I doubt there's many out there who haven't. So basically, EDP um, is busted by these two guys um, who, you no, know, two YouTubers who, who basically do a little investigation, similar to if, if anybody ever watched To Catch a Predator, hosted by Chris Hansen. They they pose as decoys online. They talk to these predators and they get these predators to go out and to try to meet these young girls. Um, and once they once these predators think they're going to have fun with a with a uh, underage girl, they confront them just like Chris Hansen does on uh, you know to catch a predator. So according to EDP, EDP um, was going to meet up with this girl for a cupcake. That's that's exactly what he said. He was going to meet up with a thirteen for, to a thirteen. Year, he was going to meet up with a thirteen year old girl to eat a cupcake. Now, obviously, nobody believes that bullshit. Nobody believes that um, he was just driving out for what, forty minutes from his home in Bakersfield, driving up forty, driving out forty minutes to go have a cupcake with a thirteen year old girl. Like I said, man, it, it's not shocking at all. But yes, he goes there. They confront him. They start questioning him, his motives. Um, you know, they asked him if he knew the girl was only 13 years old. EDP confirmed that he did, in fact, know she was 13 year old. Even though they already had the, um, you no, know, they had, they had screenshotted all his text messages and photos and stuff. So they already knew this, but they were questioning EDP uh, about his motivations. EDP said that you know he was very very lonely. Which is still no excuse for his actions, no excuse whatsoever. But um, they they question him. Um, you no, know, he, he, at one point he said he probably does deserve to go to prison, but he continues to uh, pretty much beg them not to uh, call the police and uh, you know not to return, not to turn in the um, the the text messages and all that stuff, which would be very incriminating towards EDP. Um, one thing about this video, man, is EDP is is EDP is a pedophile. But I did not like the way um, you no know, these two these two clowns that was um, questioning EDP. I didn't like the way they conduct themselves, especially especially the bigger guy, the bigger guy with the with the uh, with the red beard. I just felt like it was extremely unprofessional. He was he was cracking jokes on EDP's uh, weight. He was uh, cracking jokes on EDP's race. Um, I, I didn't. I didn't like that shit at all. I did not like that at all. I thought it was. A, I thought it was very unprofessional on his part the way he handled the situation. Yes, EDP's a creep. There is no defending EDP, but the way that um, he conducted himself, in my opinion, was extremely unprofessional. But back to um, you no, know, basically what this video was about. It, it was um, like I said, it was about um, them questioning EDP, what he was planning to do there. They were talking about how EDP is a very popular YouTuber, um, claiming that they were, you know, they were fans of his and stuff. Um, EDP, you know, 
was obviously very, very embarrassed, which anybody would be in that situation. But like I said before, EDP put himself in that situation. But um, they, you know, at the end of the video, they um, they pick up the phone, calling the police. EDP is begging them. He's begging them not to call the police. Then he starts walking away. He walks over to his car, leaving out of there. And and um, the two the two guys that were uh, questioning him. Uh, are still on the phone with the police. Uh, EDP, um, what I would assume, dro drove out of there. But, um, yeah, man, EDP's a pedophile. He's 30 years old, on the phone, on the internet with a 13-year-old girl, or what he believed was a 13-year-old girl. There is absolutely no defending that. I used to be a very big fan of EDPs. When I first got here on YouTube, when I first started, you know, really getting to the Eagles uh, YouTube community, EDP was one of those guys that I watched. I watched him very, very regularly. I thought the guy was very, very funny, very hilarious. I never watched him for any serious in the, uh, Eagles or NFL content. I watched the guy for a good laugh. He was funny as hell. Um, you know, I used to go on there and defend him a lot of times because, as you guys all know, his page was flooded and continues, of course, to be flooded with trolls left and right who, um, you know, they just go on there and make, make jokes about him all the time. I used to defend him quite a bit, and um, you know, and for a while I was a big fan of his his channel. But over time, I found myself more and more, more you no, know, more and more not watching his videos. You no, know, I was watching his videos less and less and less each year until it got to the point where I was not watching his videos anymore. I st I stopped. I absolutely stopped watching his videos. They just didn't appeal to me anymore. Then he started doing all, you know, he, then he started, you know, saying stuff on his channel that I personally did not agree with. But, yeah, you know, he was one of those guys that I, that I was, um, you know, I was watching. I was enjoying his content, you know, until the, the later years, I, I, I just stopped watching his content altogether. But none of this surprised me at all. You know, EDP, th this is the same guy right here, the same guy that, um... Used to go into laundromats, steal women panties, steal women underwear, and record himself on camera sniffing these women's underwear and panties. This is the same guy that made videos about flooded Chipotle. This is the same, the same guy who showed his bare ass a couple times on on on, on camera. So nothing, um, nothing about this surprises me whatsoever. This is also the same guy who. I believe last year, yeah, it was last year. He um he was he was busting online for chatting with a 15 year old girl, and he literally said, he literally said that that girl bought it on herself because the way she dressed, you know, she, you know, and and and, and talking about her breasts as well, you know, saying that she has she has very large breasts, so she bought it on herself that you know for him to be, um, you know, preying on her online, so. None of this surprised me at all. It doesn't. Uh, it, it really does not surprise me. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not shocked. Um, Joey Shake seventy two. Shout out to him. He called me when this thing first came, first broke down and told me about this man. But I was, you know, I was not stunned. I was not shocked at all. No, nothing about EDP. Nothing he says. Nothing he does shocks me at all. Nothing. So when all this came out, I was not stunned at all. Now, when I watched the video, like I like I said again, there were things that were definitely more disturbing than I, I it, it definitely was a little bit more disturbing than what I thought it was going to be. But overall, after taking time to really, uh, you know, uh, no, uh, the next day after I watched the video, none of it's shocking to me. None of it's shocking whatsoever. EDP, you know, people have been saying for years, oh, this this right here is going to derail his channel. This this right here is going to derail his channel. I think this, no, I don't think, I know this right here is the final downfall of EDP 445. If you go look on his channel right now, his subscriber count is dropping and it's going to continue to drop. EDP, you know, you know, make, um, make a video, just get, just getting on camera, making videos about himself, you know, just being, just acting the fool on camera. It made him, you know, it made him a, a pretty rich man. From what I saw, he had a net worth of $2 million. So it made him pretty successful just doing that. And he just absolutely thrown that away, for the, you know, because he thought he was going to have a good time with a 13-year-old girl. It's absolutely sick. It's absolutely disgusting. And if anybody out there is defending this, they are just as disgusting as EDP. 
That's just a fact. I do not condone, I do not tolerate uh, pedophilia whatsoever. I don't personally have kids of my own. I don't personally have kids of my own, but I have two nieces. One is 15 years old, one is seven years old. If a grown ass 30 year old man was on the internet praying on one of my nieces, I would drive this truck up to Washington State and I would beat the living shit out of that person. I don't give a damn who they are, how much money they have. If somebody was to do this to my nieces, who, like I said, one is 15, one is seven, I would drive my truck up to Washington State and I would beat the living shit out of whoever that person was. It's absolutely disgusting. EDP's a grown ass 30 year old man. He made um, the choice, he made the decision to engage with a 13 year old girl after she had told him her age. He made that choice to continue to uh, speak to her, talk to her in a very um, disgusting manner, which, which no 30 year old man should be talking to a 13 year old. He made that choice to continue to talk to her like, like that and go ahead and um, you know, plan to meet up with this, with this person who he thought was 13 years old, but, but, but was really a decoy. He made that choice. And now he is suffering the consequences of his actions. And I know there's going to be some people out there. There's definitely going to be some people out there who, um, whatever, doing hate week, TC, you know, TTC guys, they're going to do doing hate week, whatever. They're going to try and use this as ammo against Eagle fans. But at the end of the day, who cares? EDP does not speak for Sparky Nights 91. He doesn't speak for other uh, Eagles vid makers. EDP is a grown man. He's a 30-year-old grown man. He made his choices. So they can make all the little videos and jokes all they want to. But at the end of the day, EDP made his choice. He decided to go meet up with a 13-year-old girl. Nobody told him to do that. That has nothing to do with the Eagles fan base. That has nothing to do with Eagles vid makers here on YouTube. The only person responsible for EDP 445's actions is EDP 445, Brian Moreland. Let's just go ahead and call him by his name, his real name. Brian Moreland made the choice to go meet up with a 13-year-old girl. He made the choice to, to send disgusting, you no know, terrible um, you know, comments and uh, messages to a 13-year-old girl. He made that choice. He is responsible for his actions. It's just the same way if a Cowboys fan got busted for pedophilia, I'm not going to sit there and, oh, this may, this, this is all Cowboy fans and this is how, this this is a bad look for the Cowboy, Cowboy fans. Hell no. EDP doing what EDP does is not a bad look for me. It's not a bad look for the Eagles fan base. EDP 445 is, is his own man. He made his own decision. Plain and simple. Now, like I said, I already know there's going to be people out there who are going to still use this as ammo on their videos. It is what it is, so be it. But at the end of the day, EDP is responsible for his actions. That's just the bottom line. That is just the bottom line. Now, I don't know what's next, but I'm assuming that, um, no, they called the police at the end of that video. So I'm assuming that EDP at some point is probably going to be arrested. And... You know, sending pictures of his private parts, which he did, uh, you know, speaking, you know, speaking to a 13 year old in very sexual manners, that's a crime. Going to meet up with a 13 year old girl is a crime. EDP needs professional help. It, anybody who would who would do shit like this are absolutely sick in the head and they need professional help. There's no and ifs or buts about that. EDP needs professional help. So my you no, know, I'm assuming that at some point EDP is going to jail. I'm assuming at some point his channel, EDP 445, uh, which which has over two million subscribers, but is is quickly dropping by the minute. At some point, I'm expecting that channel to be taken down. It's crazy when you think of a guy who has done as as many crazy things on camera as EDP has. It's crazy to believe, you know, that his it took you no know, ten years for his channel to be taken down. 10, 11 years. I think he I think he started making videos in two thousand nine, so about twelve years. It's hard to believe that a guy who has been on who has been on YouTube for over a decade doing the amount of wild, crazy, insane things, such as showing his naked ass, such as you know, um, you know, 
stealing women underwear, um, st stealing the underwear and bras out of a laundromat and snipping them on camera. It's hard to believe that a person who has done as many crazy things as Brian Moreland, <laughs> it's crazy to believe that, that his channel is still up in 2021. But I think this right here is going to be the final, um, this is going to be the final nail in the coffin for Brian Moreland. I think the legal problems, the legal issues, though, because of this, are, are only going to get worse for him. Especially when that vi that video is now on the internet now, and anybody can see it now, and I'm sure the uh, the local authorities in Bakersfield, California, have seen that already. So it's not looking good for it's not looking good for Brian Morland whatsoever. And I, I just hope the guy get I just hope he gets the help he needs because, like I said, anybody that um, anybody that sends new photos and talks about what he wants to do to a child, a minor, a 13 year old, they they they're a sick person and they need professional help. Like I said earlier, I don't have any kids of my own, but I have two nieces who I love more than anything in this world. And if a grown ass man was talking to them the way that EDP was talking to this um this decoy who he thought was thir a 13 year old girl, if any grown man was texting her photos of his private parts and talking to and, and talking to them and talking to them the way that EDP was talking to this um this decoy. I would drive my truck up to watch the state where they live and I would beat the living shit out of that person that was doing that. There is no, there is no, um, no, his hardcore fans, his hardcore fanboys, fangirls, who are mostly around the same age as the, as the, as the decoy was said to be. A lot, most of his fans now are high school kids. But there's nothing they can say right now that could defend a 30, soon to be 31 year old man Going online, taking no, uh, sending pictures of his privates, talking all sexual stuff to a thirteen-year-old. There, there, there's, there's nothing that they can say to defend that. There's absolutely nothing they can say to defend that. It is absolutely disgusting. It is absolutely despicable. Like I said, man, I used to, I used to love watching this guy when I first got on YouTube. Start watching YouTube videos. I used to love watching him for a good laugh. I never took anything he did seriously because, as we all know, he never took anything that he did seriously. It was all for the camera. Well, apparently not all for the camera, but a lot of what he was doing for the camera, it, it was not to be taken serious like a series, uh, you know, YouTube sports channel. It was just this guy filming himself doing crazy shit, you know, outrageous stuff, getting a rise out of people. And, you no, know, that caught on to a lot of people, you know. That caught on to a lot of people. You know, a lot of people loved this content. It made you know he 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 went over two hundred me. Oh, excuse me, he went over two million subscribers, and you know he became very popular. And apparently he became very successful off of it. For what I like, I said for what I heard, his net worth was around two million dollars. So I'm not you know I wasn't surprised by that. You know his net worth being what it was because his channel was was absolutely huge. And Brian Morland decided to throw that all away by going to meet up with a 13 year old for what he claimed to be cupcakes. No, for starters, no 30 year old man should be hanging out with a 13 year old girl he doesn't know for one. And going over to a house just for cupcakes, come on bruh, nobody believes that bullshit. Nobody believes it. And like I said earlier, man, the two guys that, um, the two guys that was filming, that, 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 that confronted him and was filming it, you know, fuck them as well. I'm, that's just me being honest. You know, particularly the, uh, the the big guy with the red beard, man. I saw another video of him using the N word very, very freely. He, uh, you know, very, very unprofessional in my opinion. You know, making constantly cracking jokes about EDP's weight, constantly cracking jokes about EDP's race. Just extremely childish and extremely unprofessional. That's just my honest opinion. Just my honest opinion. Extremely unprofessional and, um, you know, extremely childish. So, yeah. But at the end of the day, they did they, they accomplish what they decided to do, and that was to expose EDP for being a pedophile. And they, they, they accomplished that because EDP, after this, there's no, there's no way anybody can say that EDP 445 is not a pedophile. He is definitely a pedophile. And he definitely needs professional help. Anyway, man, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Absolutely crazy, man.
EDP 445 just threw his whole life, his whole career away to go meet up with a 13 year old girl. But by the end of the day, every man is responsible for their own actions. EDP made the choice to go meet up with a, with a 13 year old, and now he is paying the consequences for his action. I just hope that the brother gets the help that he needs. He needs to go to jail. That's that's exactly where he belongs. I just hope he gets the help that he needs. You no, know, um, he, he needs to be put in jail. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I'm out of here. Peace.